Another brand is jumping into electric car game. This time is uh, the exotic car brand, Austin Martin. Um, as you can see, this is a tweet from their CEO. He tweeted a video of their first prototype actually moving. Not very fast, but nevertheless, uh, let's talk about what this means. And they have done some tons of specs for this car. Surprisingly, um, even, you know, legacy manufacturers don't release as many specs ahead of time. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk what it means for uh, for the, you know, entire industry, but specifically for, for sports cars, uh, because they are kind of the the last uh, uh, stronghold, I would say, for, for gasoline cars. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and let me give a quick shout out to one of my newer Patreons, Eli Jennings. Thank you so much for, uh, Eli T. Jennings, thanks so, so much for joining my uh, Patreon community, for supporting uh, my independent unbiased channel. Um, and uh, the rest of my community, you guys have a choice of uh, watching uh, these videos live and interacting with me during the videos. And I also do an extra segment uh, pretty much every day. I call the extra mile so thank you so much for supporting me let's talk about aston martin now andy palmer uh is uh, the uh, ceo of austin martin and he you know, so there is no word there's no press release nothing um I, at first when i saw this uh video which is really not much uh, just this car is a really good looking car as most of their cars are check out that one in the background there let me just bring up the a better image uh look at the i really like that green one but but this one looks awesome so uh, just kind of slowly moving through the parking mall. It's an Instagram video, so I couldn't really get it into here because they have, the, just like I said, nowhere else. It's not a leaked picture. It's just a picture from the CEO, uh, but no press release uh, to accompany that, uh, accompany that. But it is a milestone. They're saying they finally got it to move, uh, which is always a good thing. Um, and uh, they're planning on this to go in production at the end of this year. As a matter of fact, they say Q4. Usually when people say Q4, you thinking last day of Q4, which is last day of the year. But even then, you know, that's kind of pretty quick. I know they've announced the, just the pro, the electric car program, I believe it was September last year. So they might actually get this car out on the market even before uh, Taycan, uh, which is, or at the same time, which is, which is great. Now, they are only making 155, they're calling it examples. It really just copies. Not that it's a high volume uh, production company in the first place, but this is a bit low at the same time. You know, obviously they want to fill out the demand. This company does not have, you know, billions and billions and billions of dollars to invest into a program and a car unless they see a proof of concept. You know, they want to approach it cautiously, but kudos to them uh, to actually move forward with them and develop something that they believe can be a, 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 a good viable High performance car. Don't forget, they have to make sure that this car is high performance. This, you know, people who buy these cars and pay a lot of money for them uh, want, you know, a high performance, which is a uh, tougher to get than the regular electric car that doesn't really need to go uh, fast or launch very fast all the time. Um, and 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 so I'm assuming their technology that they're working with, I believe they're working with a third party there, um, is going to be uh, up to par. Now. There are quite a few specs I want to tell you guys about because they're pretty much out. Some of them are pretty impressive. Some are maybe not. Um, now, before that, of course, I want to remind you that this video and this channel is sponsored by Starman Gifts, the home of the adventures of Starman. I got my own copy right here. If you guys haven't, uh, go ahead and grab this uh, the, the discount code uh, from the description of this video. I know there was some issues with the code. It is working right now, so I can confirm. And really, the code works for everything that they sell there. So if you're a, Sp a SpaceX or Elon Musk fan, definitely check that out in the description of this video. Okay, so uh, the specs for... Oh, by the way, there was another thing that he tweeted, and he said that by coincidence, by the way, anybody, if any, any time anybody says by coincidence, it's never by coincidence. But they say by coincidence on uh, January 21st at 8.14 p.m. Like, it's almost like a baby being born. Like, they just want to nail the correct time. Another piece of Austin Martin history was made. But they're going to, I guess, keep it a secret for now. Um, you know what? In the comment section, why don't you offer your guess what this could be? I'm kind of curious what it is. Um, I hope it's the range of the car because um, they were kind of wishy-washy about that or the price of the car, which they haven't really shared yet. But let me tell you what this is. Now, by the way, they, they, they're calling this uh, car Rapid E. 
um, I hope it's not rapid E, but I think it's rapid E. Um, the uh, 610 horsepower is what is what they're promising out of an 800 volt powertrain. I gotta tell you, I'm not really versed. Like I've never, I've never heard of uh, an electric car specs that are being led with uh, the voltage of a powertrain. But that's that's their main thing. They're saying, hey, 800 volts. Uh, so 65 kilowatt hour battery. Not really a big battery, so um, you know I'm assuming even maybe around 200, but probably a little bit less than 200 mile range. Though these exotic cars don't really need to have a long range because no one's going to be driving them long distance or on a family trip. Um, though it is a four-door door sedan, so that I'm not I'm not excluding that really. Uh, zero to 60 under four seconds which means 3.95, I'm assuming. Uh, exactly not blowing anyone's minds, but pretty quick. Nevertheless, again, it's a four-door sedan. Um, I, I, it's going to be able to charge up to 100 kilowatts, which is, you know, up there. It's pretty good. Um, it's kind of a little under what the uh, Tesla superchargers are right now, but definitely over, you know, most kind of standard right now of everybody else of about 50 or 60. So that's pretty good. Um, the uh, It's going to have two rear uh, mounted motors. Which is kind of interesting you guys better rotate your tires a lot in that case if, if it's just going to be the 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 real wheel drive especially for a high performance car i'm also looking at um other specs and i think that's pretty much oh uh top speed 155 miles an hour i think it really only matters in germany <laughs> where you can actually do that um in maybe a couple of other countries but overall the specs are pretty decent of course it's going to depend on the price but then again you know pricing these cars are always you know it's it's a very abstract philosophical issue because people who buy these cars they're not trying to get the bank for for, for their buck um they're buying an exotic car um that's limited edition and this is what this is going to be i'm more excited about the fact that even austin martin is jumping in that means it will be sucking in even more and more other uh, um, uh, companies hopefully Lamborghini would be next hopefully Ferrari will be next and just like I mentioned in the beginning of this video this is kind of a last stronghold of the gas cars right we can drive them really really fast with all the noise and stuff like that and what they, they're being proven wrong over and over and over again that without any noise almost like they like they wouldn't even notice what has, what's happening to them you know all of these electric cars are really starting to beat and uh beat the uh, beat the gas powered cars and more and more brands are bringing them uh onto the market so um i've reached out to austin martin hopefully to establish now uh, um a, you know contact and a good relationship with them so i can bring you guys more and more um reports about this um as they're coming out let me know in the comment section what do you think the price is going to be for this car and what do you think the appropriate range for an exotic car like this um is uh, really needs to be in the comment section looking forward to that other than that see you next time and remember to stay charged